What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Hitman Pro's uh, false breach mode uh, function that it's got built into the actual program. Now this is essential for killing processes, non-essential processes just like this uh, Live Security Platinum Rogue here. Now this is the latest version of uh, Live Security Platinum and you know you normally use R-Kill and things like that. Well Hitman Pro has actually got a useful little function in it that you can use called false breach mode. And what that's going to do is kill all the non-essential processes so then we can run Hitman Pro. Now obviously when I click on these, nothing happens, it just closes them off. And that's because it's stopping the process. And sometimes you used to rename them and stuff like that and it didn't work. But they have got a little function here which you can click on the left control key on the keyboard and then click on Hitman Pro. But I found sometimes that's very difficult to get started. So the way I do it is I rename it. To I explore and then I click on the left control key and then I click on the actual uh, left mouse key and then uh, get this fired up and it should hopefully kill all the non-essential processes and then we could kill this off so let's give it a go and there you go you can see what it's done here now it's now managed to start off uh, Hitman Pro now and we, that means we can run a scan on Hitman Pro with all these um, cloud based tools here so I'm going to go next I'm going to just leave these where they are and go next and let this scan run and hopefully it will pick up on this rogue and then kill it and there you go it's found the rogue Okay, so that's now found that. I'm not going to go next. And I just need to activate this. So I'm just going to quickly kick, click on activate for free license because I haven't got it done yet. That's all done. And then I need to go next here. And then it will remove this uh, rogue process here. Needs to reboot, so I'm going to click on the reboot. So we'll just let this load back up. And there we are back at the desktop. And that rogue is now gone. And that's the useful thing about uh, false breach mode with Hitman Pro. It's very, very useful and uh, very useful for getting rid of rogues and stuff like that on the system. Okay, so let's um, try one more. Just want to have a look at this one here. See if we can get this installed here. Okay, that's installed. And this is the latest version of the Security Shield here. So we're going to give this one more blast with uh, Hitman Pro. And I've already renamed it it's, it's from the last time. So we'll just give it one more go. Push on the left control key. And then there you go. Up comes Hitman Pro. Go next. Next again. And these are the latest versions of these rogues that are doing the rounds. So this method will work just fine for these type of uh, infections. And there you go, it's found the actual process there. Okay, I'm going to change this to uh, delete. Go next. And that's that one removed and as you can see we're back to the desktop it's that quick and easy so that's the way you can remove these types of infections on the system with hitman pro without downloading anything else and without re rebooting into safe mobile networking and all these types of things it's just another little option for you to get you back up and running again now obviously you would need to run some other scans like malware bytes at this stage and everything else like that just to make sure the system is fully cleaned and uh, obviously empty your restore points and then create a new restore point check your proxies and all that sort of stuff but it's just a good way 
of uh, getting rid of these types of infections. So I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also, rate and favourite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.